Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm Nida Usania And my name is 1813 20,000 for when and This video is to fulfill the final semester exam in speaking class that are taught by Mom Aprilia Riana Putri this, vi this video is summary about transition to online education in school during a SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus or COVID-19 pandemic in Georgia. The author is Georgie Basilaila. The situation in public education in Georgia has changed in the spring semester of 2020. When the first case of COVID-19 COVID infection was detected in Georgia. In situation, the students are not permitted to go to school and the alternative is to switch from education from traditional education to online education learning. In this case, the important is to reach of the internet availability of computers or smartphone in population. The purpose of this research is to continue the education process in school in from online learning system. In this research, the author used Google Meet platform to implement online education in private school with 950 students in the first week of online learning system. In online learning, introduced 47 virtual classrooms and to avoid prolonged student contact with computers, duration of class is minimized to 30 minutes. 86 teachers are trained online using Google Meet tool and familiarizing themselves with the structure created. Class links are sent to students and parents through EduPatch system. This list is shared among school and teacher so that each teacher can join the class based on the available schedule. The time of lesson is also reduced so student in semester 1 until 2 have 2 until 3 lesson a day and student in semester 3 until 7 have 3 until 4 lesson a day and the last such student in semester 8 until 12 have 4 until 5 lesson a day the result confirm that the rapid transition online education and success of experience guide can be useful for countries that have not yet found a way to transition in conclusion the transition from traditional education to online education in georgia was successful. The system and skill acquired by teacher, student, and school administration can be used in the in the post pandemic period. Additional hours will be used to examine assignment individually and return feedback and one of way to increase effectiveness in group teaching and there is a problem in actual assessment that it's when students stay out of school and new technology must be considered for anti-plagiarism and avoiding fraud the quality of online learning needs to be learned in the future the online teaching method as the main objective is 
to save educational process and continue it in a format that is possible. In the end, research researcher suggest using Google Meet system to be integrated into Google Platform class or a separate platform needs to be created for educational purpose which may include laboratory simulator practice for student in the course as for my advice on learning online during this pandemic that is each country has a different education system the country must also adapt to online learning system to abilities of student because there are some students have difficult in online learning system such as students in remote areas make them difficult to get an internet connection students whose families have a low economy standard make it difficult to have a smartphone or a quota to follow this online learning system and I hope the government and Minister of Education must consider to make a better online learning system for students in this country and enough from my summary from article Georgie Basilaila I'm sorry if I have a mistake and I hope my summary useful for you and thank you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh